Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video where today we'll be talking about episode 9 of The Bad Batch. Um, now, before I get started, I have uh, decided to just leave universe mode for a couple of months now. I'm not going to go back to that for a little while. Uh, I'm just going to do Star Wars stuff and Marvel stuff until at least October. But, with that being said, uh, let's start off with review of the Bad Batch episode. Um, first thoughts and first impressions, I thought it was really good. Kind of demonstrated where Storyline's really going, uh, showing the value of Omega to the cloning uh, the cloning process. Um, we figure out why she's so valuable. She's a first generation clone and she's the only one besides from someone called Boba or Project Alpha. So it's only her and Boba Fett who are the two clear clones of Django, apparently. So that's why she's so valuable. Uh, we see that obviously in the end of the last episode we saw Cad Bane abduct, I think it's the right word. Yeah. She abduct, abducts Omega from Hunter after he shoots Hunter. Uh, kind of remnant of the uh, of the deleted Clone Wars scene between Jang, between Boba and uh, Cad Bane, which is cool. Um, what else? Oh, she tries to fix Az's uh, leg, but she actually shuts him down for a little bit. Uh, they land on a forgotten, well, not forgotten, an abandoned. Uh, coming on facility and I think yeah if I remember correctly Fennec was on there she was uh, hired by Nala say to retrieve Omega because she was because um, the Prime Minister of Kamino wanted Omega to be replicated and then terminated but Nala say as her carer didn't want that so she hired Fennec to rescue her from this and to bring her back safely because she didn't want her terminated. So Cad Bane hired by Cameron Owen to bring back Omega, terminate. Now I say hired Fennec to bring her back safely. So you can see the two different ideals of the Cameron Owens here. It's very it's very complex of how this is gonna turn out for the Kaminoans and the Empire because obviously they're trying to do something to pique the Empire's interest to say ooh I want that I want to keep these longer I want this instead of just going out and finding some uh, more uh, willing participants for the Empire then we see a pretty long shootout between Count Bane and Fennec there's a couple of points where we think both of us die, especially when thermal detonators are thrown. Uh, Cal Bane looked like he was about to fall to his death, but obviously, jetpack. Well, boosters under his feet, lift him up. Um, Omega doesn't know what Fennec's trying to do, so she thinks she's trying to take her for herself, and she has the same purpose as Cal Bane, but obviously, we know differently. Um, AZ tries to stop Omega from escaping in an escape pod because earlier she had contacted Hunter when she tried to contact Hunter uh, the frequency wasn't good enough so they could track her so she had to go and create a power surge but before she could do that campaign card to her and that was like the fight uh, she tried to get away from them Fennec told Omega to come to her for her own good uh, but Omega ejected one of the Kaminoans onto Fennec and she left tried to go to the escape pod AZ nearly got her but he made her escape well she escaped after creating a power surge no I think she she located him with the escape pod well located her with the escape pod uh, they connected to the escape pod and then they 
then they got out of there and they explained to Omega why she was as valuable as she was. Obviously, like I said earlier, she was a Phase 1 clone and there's only two of them in existence. One called Project Alpha, which is Boba, but I'm presuming she's Project Omega, which is a Greek alphabet is the last letter. So that means she's the last phase one clone of that kind. And then we figure out that Fennec has uh, disrupted Cad Bane's ship. We don't get to see him leave the planet, so I'm presuming in the next episode or somewhere along the lines we will see Cad Bane escape the planet finally. But we do see Fennec fly away and she tells Nala say that she couldn't get Omega and obviously you know where to find her so I'm presuming this is not the end for Omega not for Omega Fennec which is good because she's a good character in this she kind of brings a different spice to the story which is I think what Star Wars really needs right now so I mean it's not the worst in the world but if I give this episode a rating, I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. It's not the worst episode, it's not the best, it's just, it's just there, it's, it's okay, it's, it's, it, it's going to be an integral part of the story, I think, because it kind of introduces bounty hunters and stuff like that, and it's introducing the the chaos inducing empire that's about to wreak havoc now what are my predictions for the next couple of episodes um, I'm presuming we'll see Vader at the end of the series um, maybe Thrawn I'm not too sure but I, I think definitely we're going to see Vader because in the Bad Batch series Vader shows up in it and the Bad Batch work for Vader for a little bit and then turn on him, try and kill him, but then Vader kills the Bad Batch. But we don't know because it doesn't look like they're really going on the path of the comic books for the Bad Batch, so it's really interesting not really knowing what's happening, obviously. And like unlike Marvel, it's really good to see that they're not just gonna follow the comics. So it's it's going to be interesting for the next couple of weeks and obviously I'll be here weekly to give you updates on the episodes so please make sure you like, share and subscribe to this channel because you do not want to miss the content, trust me. The end of this month, like tomorrow, the video tomorrow is going to be mad, trust me. So you want to stay tuned, alright? Well, that is all for today guys, um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like I said before, please make sure to like, share and subscribe, it will really help out the channel, we are 8 subs away from 100, and yeah, really appreciate it guys, but that's it for today, take care and peace.